free is a very good price, and until January 11th, you can go on Epic Games Launcher and get Gardens of the Galaxy completely free. Just got to download it, even if you don't have a PC or laptop, and you can get it on your cell phone and get it on Epic Games Launcher through the website or something. I would encourage you to do it, as it's a great game. Anyway, I'm going to be playing this game for a little over an hour uh, without dialogue here, as I feel like the dialogue in the game is one of the many features. So please, thumbs up and subscribe if you would, and enjoy this game footage of Guardians of the Galaxy. Who's the guy with the scary eyes? He doesn't have a name. He's one of the space riders. And he's not scary. He's cool. Your space rider certainly got his hands full. Pretty far out! Nobody says far out anymore, Ma. <laughs> Ma! What? Nobody says far out anymore. Your mom does. Maybe we should see if we could get tickets to see the five. Really? Mm hmm Your mom may not look it, but I was quite the rocker when I was your age. Your father and I would just lie on the hood of my old Chevy and listen to Black Sabbath and... You like Black Sabbath? Like I said, your mom's cooler than you think. Oh, we'd look up at the stars and he'd tell me all about the places he'd been... Mom? How about some cake, huh? Yeah, I'll be up in a sec. You said that 15 minutes ago. If you don't hurry, I'm gonna eat that whole cake myself. No, you wouldn't. Yes, I would. <laughs> you wouldn't. Yes, I would. Hey, watch the hair. <laughs> oh! Peter! We've talked about you leaving your toys on the floor. It's not a toy. It's an action figure. More like an action landmine. Stab your foot. I will. He doesn't even... Never mind. Thirteen whole years. Look at you. Where does time go? I'll be up in a sec. I promise. Right. Need to build up my calluses. Peter Quill. Peter Quill, wake up. Holy crap, Drax. You gotta stop doing this, man. It's Weird. We are approaching the quarantine zone. How long was I out for? 15,338 ticks. That's very specific. The betrayer is ready to begin our mission. She has requested your presence in the cockpit. Gamora's on our side, Drax. She is the spawn of my sworn enemy, a murderess and a traitor. I do not trust her. We'll try. We're supposed to be a team. I make no promises.
It ain't just a junkyard. The quarantine zone's the biggest pile of galactic war debris in the known universe. Just think of all the tech we can find. Ah, oh, there you are, Quill. Tell Groot to stop worrying about getting arrested. I am Groot. I'm not overconfident. I'm just the right level of confident. <laughs> arrested? For what? Our ship just accidentally slipped into the quarantine zone. Oops. Our navigation malfunctioned. Oops. <sighs> How would we accidentally cross into the Nova Corps force field? Pfft. Nice gizmos rocket. I'm calling them thumpers on account of the noise they make. Assuming we get past the force field and reach your coordinates in one piece, all we gotta do is set them up, and these babies are gonna draw out our monster in no time. How's that even gonna work? The thumper goes beep, 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 and the monsters come running? Eh, it goes more like, uh, wah, wah, wah! Holy holla, rocket! Stop this ruckus at once! <laughs> and then the monster comes a running out of its hole. Are you sure about that? Hey, all my intel came from your source. My sources are very reliable. Those coordinates are 100% pointing towards a rare, elusive, priceless creature. With no physical description to go by. What do you think elusive means? It don't matter what the monster looks like. As long as it's got ears, you can be sure my thumpers are gonna drive it right into our arms. Drax! <laughs> Gamora. Can this not wait, Peter Quill? I am readying my body for battle. Uh, <laughs> you know we're supposed to capture this monster, right? Not kill it? Of course. But I suspect it will not go down without a fight. Cool it, muscles. Lady Hellbender ain't gonna buy damaged goods. I will aim to preserve the integrity of the beast as best I can. Good. Groot really needs to get these plants under control. Yep, I use these for smuggling. Hopefully I won't ever have to smuggle myself in there. All good, buddy? I'm Groot. You know, I don't understand you, Groot, but I'm gonna assume you just said something super kind and thoughtful. <laughs> I am Groot. What did the tree say? No idea. Gamora? Up here, Peter. Hey, that's my chair. Oh, then why aren't you in it? I was, uh, strategizing. It's one thing to get into the zone. But we still gotta catch that monster. Right. So did I miss anything? Other than a ton of suspicious glares from Drax, not really. Now, if you're done strategizing, feel free to grab your seat. We're almost ready to go. Okay, here we go. Rocket, Groot, Drax, get in here. We're going in. We still have a few ticks before the next time window, actually. The next one? Nova Corps security gear resets every rotation. We want to be in and out before our code expires, or we'll get stranded. If we wait for the next reset, we'll get a full rotation to do this. Nice. 
Oh, why is the Novanet still up? Thought we were going in. Well, it appears the Assassin's contacts are as untrustworthy as the Betrayer herself. Oh, please don't tell me Gamora's back door coats are bust. We nearly went broke getting them. Relax, Rocket. We still got a few ticks before the next time window. The network just reset. You can enter the sequence, Peter. Zero, four, five, one. That's it? Four digits? Suspicious. These security measures are too simplistic for Novacore. It's not that simple. The code only works on this date for this ship. Oh, I get it. There. Oh. so much stuff left after the war. Restraint wasn't very popular in the Shatari army, especially with Thanos in charge. Eh, it's probably all harmless now. I mean, Novacore had 12 years to get rid of the heavy-duty explosives, right? <laughs> That's why I like you, Quill. You're so pure. Oh, the wonderful and terrible things I could do with all this tech. Stay focused, Rodent. We do not come here to scavenge. Why not? The Milano's weapon systems could use an overall. Plus, there's good money in it. The piece that we seek is far more valuable to the Monster Queen of Seknoff 9 than any illegally acquired salvage. Whoa! Oh, place is really shifty. I'm not seeing a monster, but that big cylinder up ahead looks like the mining ship Peter's friend said to look for. <laughs> friend? For a night? And you'll see the monster as soon as we place Rocket's monster summoning thingies. Flark, yeah. Group Quell Soda. Team Rocket's up first. I still do not understand why I must remain on board with the Assassin. Oh, because you're part of Green Team. You assigned me to the team before you named it. My skin is not green. It's teal. Teal? Listen, if we want to trick the monster into going inside that mining rig, we need to place thumpers on both sides. Two sides, two teams. And two clicks to the drop side. Ground's too unstable to land the ship, so you'll need to jump. That's our cue. Let's go, group. <laughs> Don't worry! Once the thumpers are placed, we'll meet in the middle, and we'll capture the monster. Together. Very well. Nano resin designed to keep all this war stuff from floating away. I am Groot. We don't know what it looks like. Quill neglected to get that info while he was flirting on Contraxia. I am Groot. Nah, it's totally safe. Now, can we please focus less on the toxic goo and more on all this cool war junk it's holding together? Visor works. Sure it works. I checked it right before we left. Did you just put checked it in quotes? What? No. Take that brittle stuff. He is not a better shot than me. Just imagine what kind of blasters the Jagari had to use to wreck some of these freaking things. Show off. Just making sure my guns work. After we sell the monster, I say we head to nowhere. Do some gambling. I am Groot. <laughs> you? You can't bluff your way out of a planting pot. But then, neither can Drax. Taking his share will be easy. I am Groot. Gamora? Oh, we'll definitely have to watch out for her. Thinking that big cylinder thing is our rendezvous? Yeah, that's the mining rig. 
So weird seeing it all clustered together like this. Bits and pieces of a war that span the entire galaxy held together by... Pink goo. Ebrium-based nanoresin. Whatever. I'm just saying, it's a lot to take in. Everybody keep an eye out for any good scrap or components. You know, I think I do sort of get it. Thousands of worlds fighting for some fleeting greater good. Guess it is kind of poetic. I am good. Ah, cheer up. Just because the war was horrible doesn't mean there wasn't good times along the way. I am good. Yeah, I am mostly talking about stuff blowing up. Strange. I have not encountered any corpses in the wreckage. Probably got disintegrated when their ships went kaboom. Or the nano resin absorbed them. Could explain its propagation. Or the closed atmosphere accelerates decomp, and any body is just dust by now. I will require to make a disruptive Whoa! Okay. I'm okay! Ha! <laughs> Almost made yourself a very late war casualty. Not funny. Settle an argument, Rodent. What is this omnipresent pink substance made of? You know, I like this. This is fun. <laughs> the three of us, hanging out. Just like when we started this gig. Before you know who joined us. I am Quilt. I do not hate everybody. I tolerate Quill. Quill's a, a swell guy. I hope you get that promotion, Rocket. <laughs> the three of us have had some good times. Remember the gig on Draconius? <laughs> <laughs> the locals did not appreciate us hauling them onto our ship. Lark and shapeshifters, man. Never again. <laughs> Whoa! Pretty sure that way's a dead end. Uh, you sure? Ah, there we go. Path's this way. Come on. How can you even tell? Just trust me, all right? Hey, group. You think we could find pieces of the Trion Shard in here? I'm good. You never heard of the Trion Shard? Pyramid of pure evil that corrupts everything it comes in contact with. I'm good. How'd you even know the other way was a dead end? Because, unlike you, I have a very keen sense of direction. Well, I'm okay. Uh, I'm okay. <laughs> Didn't scare you, did I? No. Ah, you were worried. That's cute. <laughs> Now uh, shut up, both of you! Uh, uh, Watch it, Quill! Uh, uh, whew. <laughs> All good, no worries. But watch your step, guys. This junk isn't as stable as we think. Someone's been practicing. Splatter. Hey, 50 units says I can clear more of these suckers than you. As if. Whoa, what the? Rocket, did you do that? The scoreboard? You like it? Hacked it into your visor cover last time you took a snooze. You hacked into my stuff? Considering how many times I fixed the flarkin thing, it might as well be my stuff. Optimal thumper placing distance should be just up ahead. <laughs> I'm thinking right in front, through the giant hole where this ship's cockpit used to be. Well, that's... Ah! Ah! Oh! Amazing! I should have been recording. Bridge over. I want to see if he's alive. I don't know, but he's twitching. Flarkin, Scott Stain, Will. You okay down there? Yep. Yeah, just, uh... Thought I saw a shortcut. shortcut. Right. Go ahead without me. I'll catch up. Okay. There's a crapped out Nova Corps missile bay just on the other side. We'll meet you there. Yellow and blue missile bay. Got it. I shot 
not a thing. I get it. First tool in the old toolbox. Ooh, don't die, don't die, don't die. Oh, hey, little guy. I hope she's legit. Like, you could even tell if she had an honest face. Yeah, she did smell like flowers. Too much. Probably the seduced starstruck over there. Trust in the plan, guys. Everything is checked out so far, right down to the mining ship. We put our thumpers in the right places, and we'll bag that monster. Ah, Quill knows all about the thumpers in the right places. <laughs> and getting monsters in the sack, too? <laughs> Group, let's see that cool vine. Oh, That's one hell of a party oh. trick, big guy. Gross, more ship eaters. Ah, oh, they're everywhere. All right, back to business. Boom, right under your nose, Quill. We're going the right way. Just keep your eyes on that mining ship. That's where we want to end up. Groot, I found a hitch. Can you latch onto it? Hey, Greenies, you see any blue and gold ships out there? You let us know. We have seen many such ships. 
He means active ones. We haven't talked about what to do with Ryan's Monopoly Patrol. Uh, we'll restrain them until we are done here. Bad idea. Those cops are all connected through their stupid helmets. If they do spot us, all they have to do is close that barrier and we're stuck in here with the rest of the graveyard. They wouldn't do that, right? Leave us to, to, to rot in here? Has to go against the Nova Code or something. Yeah, well, who would ever know? I would know. I am Groot. Do I look worried? The resin will hold. I am Groot. You ain't that heavy. I seen this goop anchor a Shatari Dreadnought. We'll be fine. Okay, here we go. All right, set her down right there. Yep, one to go. Flark! No, no! Flark and Skaggy! Kratak and batteries fried, that's what's wrong. Maybe you put it down too hard. Let's just find a solution. The solution's a new battery, with a charge. Okay, we're on what's left of a ship. Full of ship things. Gotta be things that power ship things around here, right? Yeah. Maybe you're gonna want to use your visor for this. You find a replacement while I finish scraping the fried wires. <laughs> hey! A huge power generator! How do we hook it up? We don't! That thing would toast our little thumper. Can't we condense the power through a routing funnel or something? Don't try to make up tech stuff. It's irritating. Find something else. <laughs> of course there ain't any plants here. It's a junkyard. <laughs> plants grow where they got food. This place is nothing but scrap and nano resin. And no, they couldn't live off the coop. Found something with a charge. Kinda looks like a spacey car battery. Okay, this thing isn't gonna zap me, right? The chance is minuscule. At best. You'll be fine. What are you waiting for, Quill? Grab it! Here you go. That'll do nicely. Just let me tinker a bit. I'll have to do some tweaking once I see how much juice this thing puts out. So, uh, watch my back. Watch it from what? Watch it from your face! Everyone get ready! Rocket! Help me scramble some critters! No, 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 stunt! If I don't rewire this fast, it's gonna short circuit! Looks like it's all right, bro. Killing party favors! Look out! See you fix it next time. Come on, two down, two to go. Groot's wondering if the reward's gonna be worth all the risk we're taking for this job. Me and Groot are nearly unkillable, but what if the rest of you don't make it out alive? If the two of us gotta lug that monster all the way to Lady Hellbender. Guys, this job is a huge deal. 
It's for the freaking monster queen of Seknarf 9. She just doesn't know it yet. We pull this off and we're Lady Hellbender's intergalactic monster anglers? I do prefer that name, but the acronym is unwieldy. No. We're still the guardians of the galaxy, but people will know that name means quality. We'll have clients competing to hire us. People bigger than Lady Hellbender. <laughs> that is doubtful. I can hear your visor working. Better not be cheating on our bet, Quill. Man. That thing is ridiculous. I think it was a ship or a robot. That's a pre-century. A robot, but it would have been space worth. <laughs> that ain't even the biggest one. They designed at least five experimental models twice that size. Plus half a dozen Mega Century prototypes, star stealth models with modified sneak attack parameters. How do you know all this? Because they were my fellow experiments back on Half World. Most of my parts came from the cybernetics hangar next to the door, so uh, I got a sneak peek at all the new killbots. See the parts come and go from my, uh, uh, my cage. I didn't mean to open old wounds. Eh, most of them are just scars now, anyways. I wasn't even a person to the worst of the Kree's mad scientists. More like a real smart walking gun. A very talkative gun. <laughs> yeah, that part was an accident. They tried to fix it a few times. I am Groot. The entire facility was the problem. I wish I'd gone back and blown it up before the end of the war. Even close. Groot, need you to shoot a bridge right into that eye socket. Now, I want to see you do that to something in combat. Wait, is that? Yes, I'm about to win this bet, Quill. Here goes nothing. We're inside a giant robot head. And I got robot parts inside my head. That robot parts inside your head. Inside a giant robot head. <laughs> you got it. <laughs> hey, Groot. What do you think I should do when I win this bet? <laughs> Don't congratulate him. I know what I'll be doing with my winnings. I'm saving up for our next stop on Contraxia to get one of those Zeronian massages. Ugh, you're so predictable. Uh, you know what, Quill? I think it's unfair. You got two guns, I got one. I think my points should count double from now on. That's cheating. Then lose the second pistol. All right. Thumper goes there, Quill. It's not gonna piss off every critter around, right? Sorry, Quill. Not taking no chances after the last one. I gotta test it real quick. Not again. Rocket! I only flipped the switch on and off to see if it started. Yeah, tell them that!
Watch your butts! Stick it to a group! How are there this many of them? Don't let them swarm you! like that. Great job. We'll meet you at the mining ship. So what do I gotta do to get a last name like Drax's? Katathians have no need for surnames. What about the Destroyer? It is a moniker to mark the countless I slaughtered during a shameful period of untempered rage. Yeah, one of those. I could be Rocket the Ruthless, because I'm pretty sure I ain't never had no roof. I can hear your visor working. Better not be cheating on our bet, Quill. How can you hear that? All right, mining rig is right there. I am Groot. Of course it's secure. As secure as a broke down Shatari shipwreck's ever gonna be. I am Groot. Come on, Groot. We need to get across here. And Rocket wouldn't put you at risk, right? I am Groot. That's right. I've always got your back, bud. Nah, it just looks unstable like everything else in here. Don't get your twigs in a bundle. Yes, the resin can hold a stupid warship. <laughs> I'm telling you, it's totally safe. See, I'll even prove it. Huh? Look at this. Rocket, a fart. I don't want to make him wait. That's it? We're not going after him? He says it's fine. We'll meet him later. Team Rocket, is everything okay? Groot's signal just went dark. Flark. His radio must have broke when he fell. What happened to your timber companion? Uh, Groot just took a different path. He must have fell and broke his radio. Uh, yeah, that's it. Why take a different path? Team Rocket, over! <laughs> Hope that got rid of him. Uh, sounds like green team's off our backs. Now we can stop worrying about that uh, dumb X. Groot's fine anyway. There's nothing to worry about. Not like I could have prevented that old rusted ship from keeling over. Imagine. 
Sergeant Toe and all this scut by hand. Or by ship, technically. Maybe they retrofit their star blasters with Nova Force gravitational shuttles. Huh. Uh, yeah, that would work. Man! If that afterburner kicked on right now, we'd be toast. Let's hope it don't, because we have to find a way through this thing. Ah, this turbine's right in the way. Gotta get through it. These things open up to let gas through, right? Yep. You saying we're the gas? Today we are, if we can get it open. There's a drone access tunnel over here. Too bad we don't got a drone. Can you squeeze in there? Knew it. Rocket, fix the thing. Rocket, clean up the mess. Rocket, crawl into the mystery hole. See anything? Yeah, a manual override. Team Rocket, we hit a snag. One of our thumper points was covered in resin, so we're gonna fly around to get another spot. Just make sure the new spot is as close as possible to the original one. Because of maps and angles. Great. Another turbine. Yeah, that is how these things are usually built. And... Boop. Someone's been practicing. Pew, pew. Come on, let's get out of here. We're back on track. The mining ship ain't too far. Think Groot's already ahead of us? Maybe. Hope he didn't get the strap. It wasn't me this time, I swear! I don't like this! <laughs> One for me! I'm gripping this thing with muscles I didn't even know I had! Larkin, son of a... I told you I saw this. Great timing! How did you guys... Good to see you two. You're gonna want to cross the ship as fast as you can. Overloaded, sounds like. Must be some kind of residual energy in here. Oh, come on! Clark and tensor joint! Just neat! Uh, wiggle the... Okay, so life support's booting back up. What's it look like out there? Oh, the mother of space bars. It's just... Man. Uh... Well, that's concerning. that 
Uh, it's a swarm of old cleaner bots. Maybe. Old cleaner bots? You don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about the shooting. Yeah, thought you were that freaky thing we accidentally released. Saw! We saw some cleaner bots, <laughs> accidentally, at a distance. <laughs> we're totally all right. They just ran away when it saw us, right, Quill? <laughs> Rocket, I'm not so sure that swarm thing was inoffensive. I feel kind of bad about releasing it. <laughs> Quill took a pot gun, this massive worm nest. A chunk of something fell off, and the big floaty creature came out of it. That's all. What do you mean, what kind of mining ship? A mining mining ship. Cut rock, extract resources. Here you go. Rendezvous coordinates are that way. But we'll have to find a way around the rubble. I'll try to find a side passage. Green team better be showing up soon. <laughs> you didn't see them? <laughs> Look at this old beauty. <laughs> a table. This is a vintage Model T engineering workbench. They don't make them sturdy like that no more. Hey, come on, Quill. Let's see if this beauty still works. Maybe I can fix up your gear. Hey, hand me that part. You ain't got enough pockets, get creative. <laughs> now you're talking. <laughs> if only we could all grow pockets. Yeah, there's a way through, if we can clear out that crud. Eh, that's one stubborn bunch of lore. Try that quick cooldown I installed, so you can keep helping it. You gotta time it just right to overcharge the phase cool. The Ionian Cluster. Anyone else get a weird vibe off this place? Maybe it's haunted. Haunted with what? You know, ghosts. Oh, please. Well, don't tell me you're one of those. So, that thing we set for Uh, what thing? I didn't see a thing. Uh, definitely don't want to talk about no thing. Uh, seems a little wobbly. You guys 
Nice hang back a sec. Not a problem. Ah! Well, Scott! Ah! This place is crawling with ugly! Guys, nothing long down here! System. He is not my buddy. I will find you, Peter Quill. Describe your surroundings. Uh, old metal, old mining equipment, just old. Noted. Weird bunch of stuff to mine. What was it? I don't know. Weird cubey hunks of rock or metal. <sighs> Place is old equipment. It does not narrow my search. Thumper spot. We'll head that way and keep an eye out for you. How's my baby? You can see for yourself if we can get back up there. I 
can make it up there, but we're gonna need something for you two to climb up on. It is a wonder the nimble assassin has not abandoned us already. Drax. If we can get this thing down, it should give us the extra height we need. That crate is being held up by this crane. We could free it, were it not out of reach. Helps to be nimble. All right, pretty sure that baby's our ticket upward. Somehow. It's a possibility. Maybe try something. Let's see that fancy footwork, Gamora. Bet you can't do this. That is physically impossible. Drax, think you can heft that container? Behold the might of a Katathian warrior! Here's good. Understood. Remember this moment should you ever think of crossing me, assassin. I'll remember how slowly you moved. All right, Rocket. We're back on track. Oh, oh yeah. Uh, good for you. I am good. It ain't stealing if it's abandoned. We... Oh, fly. Rocket. Not now, Quill. Rocket. Perhaps he has located our monster. We don't even know what it looks like. The intel was extremely vague. It wasn't vague. It was rushed. It's probably some cute little... Nightmarish abomination. Lady Hellbender is a renowned warrior. An ideal specimen would reflect that strength. Like I said, something scary. I disagree. Strength is endearing. My little Camaria and her mother Hovat were two of the strongest people who ever lived. I bet it's something cute. Women dig the cute stuff, right? Yes. All women in the entire universe get weak in the knees when they see something fluffy. Yes. All women in the entire universe get weak in the knees when they see something fluffy. Lady Hellbender is an exceptional female. She would desire only the most worthy of pets. You've never seen a baby otter playing with its hands. I cannot refute this. Why do you think the monster was drawn to this ship, all places? Sustenance, no doubt. Maybe the ship's engines are still vibrating after all these cycles. Or they draw sustenance from something that is leaking. Radiation could explain our comm problems. Perhaps they are scavenging old food stores for sustenance. Hungry Jack? Yes. There's a distinct sensation navigating this wreck. Whoa! Well, you got to stay at it! We got company! Is this from the last number? They are food for our quarry and will not be far behind. Let's just focus on them and pulling food ourselves!
laughing at us! And yet, we cannot retreat! No one wants to retreat, big guy, but I gotta say, it's flarkin' scary out there, Quill! Flark darts on the field, danger on all sides! Then it's time we stand and face it, and make sure they're nullified! Are we heroes to be laughed at? No! I'll laugh at them instead! Who's with me? Yes! Let's... this way. How do you know? My senses are fine-tuned to measure even the tiniest vibrations. Really? No, I'm tracking it on my display. The Milano should be right on the other side of this door. It was open when I came through here. <laughs> Who says I tripped on something? Murder Mom probably closed the door behind her. Excuse me? My blades are eager to meet this monster. Remember, we take it alive. No accidents this time. It looks like it's still got some juice. Give it a go, Rocket. What a genius at work! You are a miracle worker, man. I have to say, that is an immaculate parking job. Thanos never tolerated imperfection. Never been a problem for Quill. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This is it. Last spot. Can't wait to be out of here. This place feels like it's about to collapse on itself. I cannot wait to meet our monster. I thought you were mostly interested in meeting the buyer. She is a respectable collector. Is it working? Yeah, yeah, don't worry, Sunshine. <laughs> Sunshine. Ow! Is it, uh, doing it? What?! It appears to be broken! Ain't nothing broke! That's the sound it's supposed to make! What sounds? You can't hear that! Hear what? Oh. Your monster. Don't let it get behind you. It could be poisonous. Lady Hellbender will pay extra if it is poisonous. That's one less thing to hide behind. Good thinking. Well. Slow it down. 
It's okay, buddy. Fruit don't like things that move fast. Holla! That thing stinks! What? I don't smell anything. Definitely not a monster. Adorable. It's more matted than an Asgardian goat. We cannot present this pathetic creature to the monster queen of Sektorf 9. She will laugh at us. Maybe we can use it as bait. I knew those thumpers wouldn't work. What? My thumpers are state of the art. Musclehead's the one who rushed at the first thing that came through the door. My head is not made of muscle. Seeing what I'm seeing? Yes. Now that is a monster. All right. Enough with the warm up. Time to catch us a real monster. Let's get paid. His name is that. Definitely not cleaner bots. Watch it! The whole place is crapping out. We gotta get out of here! Now! Curse these volatile ruins! Let's go! Hold on to your butts, people! Rocket, hit the music! On it! Focus on flying, Peter! Someone play this man a song! <laughs> now we're talking! Watch the ship! I'm watching, I'm watching! You wait! Drax, what are you doing? I am holding my buttocks as the crew instructor. Watch it! Someone give me a hand! Am I right? How about one upside the head? This place lacks the eternal frost of Sarduf. Your hell is frozen? The Tathians do not like to be cold. Try putting on a shirt! See? He's so... Group says watch out! Yeah, thanks for the heads up! Get us killed, Quill. There's still so much stuff I want to steal. We ain't gonna make it. Hit the blue button! What blue button? The one for the secret boosters I added! Can you please stop adding things while I'm asleep? Punch it, Peter! Now is not the time for hand-to-hand -hand combat. From. Means you screwed up because you had to fly away from it. Oh, 
Please don't be Novacore. Please don't be Novacore. Please don't be Novacore. It is Novacore. Hope. Um, <clears throat> there's a this, uh, thing I got. I gotta do. I'll, I'll be right back. We need to get rid of that animal now. <sighs> I'm serious, Peter. If it stays on the ship, we all go to prison. No one's going to jail. It's a harmless space llama thing. Harmless? Remember Anakubi? Not really. No. That's because they scorched the planet because an idiot smuggled in an Exelon. I will eject the beast into space. Whoa, 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 we're not ejecting anything. It'll make us look guilty. <laughs> it could be carrying Zephron's disease. Which is why Drax is gonna hide in the secret cargo compartment behind Groot's plants. Peter Jason Quill. Really? My middle name? Hey, Corell! How you doing? How long's it been? Two, three years? You look good. You been tanning? This is a new low, Peter. Even for you. Corell. I swear, it's not what it looks like. That you're a junker trespassing in the most restricted area of space? Two consorts with thieves and murderers, apparently. Hey, killing people for money ain't murder, lady. Come on, Corell. You know me. We've been to hell and back. Sure, I've done some shady stuff since the war, like... really shady stuff. But junking? I just caught you pink-handed, leaving the quarantine zone. Technically, yes, but we weren't scavenging. Right. Peter Quill, I found these items in the uh, space that you told me about. There was not enough room for both the other thing and these. Peter Quill, of planet C-53, under galactic law ZXB-47, I am putting you and your crew under arrest for Actually, can I call you back? What? Please tell me that is not a crate of super illegal tech. It is a crate of super illegal tech, which also happens to be very valuable. Really? What? We're on a Ravager ship. Even the Flark and Bulkheads are stolen. Well, we can't fit both in the compartment. I will eject the crate into space. Eject the crate, and I melt your face! The Milano's weapon systems are four generations behind Quill. We need that tech, more than we need some stupid farm animal. That farm animal could be a Class Three biohazard. You want to end up in the kiln? Hide the llama. What? What about my stuff? Rocket, I know Corell. I'm pretty sure I can get her to go easy on us about the tech, but a potential biohazard? Man, I'm good, but I'm not that good. You slept with a cop? She wasn't a cop at the time. The point is, we were close. You just have to trust me. I am good. And that would be her boarding part. has no time to meet with law-breaking pirates like you. That's just it. We're not pirates. We're legally incorporated heroes for hire. Yeah, that's right. You check those records, Buckethead. Novacore licensing permit 67398-2. Gardeners of the galaxy? What? No. Rocket. So I let Groot fill out the paperwork. I fixed it with an addendum. Not the most well-known heroes you could hire, but definitely in the top five of most awesome names. Contributing members. Groot, a Flora Colossus. Last of his kind, fearless in a firefight, an awesome best friend. Rocket, bona fide super genius and a wizard with explosives. Definitely not a raccoon. Gamora, adopted daughter of Thanos, deadliest woman in the galaxy. Need we say more? Drax the Destroyer. Convicted serial murderer and galactic war hero? Often grumpy. 
Last and definitely least, Peter Jason Quill. That's it? That's all you wrote? There was a character limitation. <sighs> Sorry, excuse me, I just need to... Cadet Gold, what are you doing here? Oh, you don't know? Really? It says right here. Prisoner processing training. I'm your official trainee. <laughs> Aren't you a little young for the Corps? Aren't you a little old for that hairdo? I should check with the captain. No! No, 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 she, she definitely signed off on this. You know how thorough she is about signing stuff? If I may, sir, the real concern here is Regulation 7A regarding prisoner footgear. That one's jet boots are in clear violation. They're decorative. Good work, Cadet Gold. Great. There goes Plan B. No need a Plan B. I got this. No, you do not got this, pirate. I got this. Now fall in line. Time to go, prisoners. Watch the jacket. Cadet Gold, you know the arrest...